And right now we have Creative Bug featured in the middle of our web page, but if it's not there, you can find it in our Research tab, the first link under our Learning Resources tab. Okay. So we'll create on Creative Bug. Here it's going to take us to an overview and where we can register, or since you've registered, we can log in to Creative Bug. And here's an overview of Creative Bug. It's a platform that has thousands of award-winning videos on arts and crafts, and it's taught by a lot of different design experts and artists. Cool. It's a lot of inspiration in here, and you can use it for unlimited access to classes. You can learn to make different projects, and there's a little something for everyone in here. Cool. I did log in real quick and, and took a look at some of the things that it had. So. Excellent. We can resume your classes and also see the latest classes here. Here's the front page of Creative Bug. It's going to show you the different classes in art, design, sewing. We've got holiday and party classes, which is topical now during the holidays. I like food and home because I really like food. So do I. <laughs> Food's always a popular one, as well as crafts for kids. Oh, that'd be good. We've also got an inspirational feed, a pattern library, and also these classes here will give you categories in all kinds of fields. I really like the daily practice. The daily practice gives you prompts every day to learn a new creative craft or get better at something that you already are interested in. Cool. Taught by a lot of different artists. One of my favorites, Lisa Congdon, is in here somewhere and I plan on taking her class. Right there. there she is. We'll do an Inktober daily challenge. Up here, you'll find where you've already logged in and you can see your recently watched videos. Check out your watch list of things you want to watch. Here will be your gallery of photos you upload from the project you're working on or things you've already completed. And there's even a neat community function here where you can share your work with other crafters, keep a gallery of your items. Here it looks like you've started paper flowers and some furniture repair. Yeah, the, the paper flowers one I might make for my wife. This looks lovely, and it looks like you can resume where you left off or start over again. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Here you'll see the overview of your project, the materials needed, and some discussion and tips from other users. Oh, that's nice. So I recommend that you just play around in Creative Bug. There's a lot to learn here and a lot of just daily inspiration to help prompt you in your creative habits. Well, thank you, Amber. That looks great. You're so welcome, Michael. Good luck. Hey, Amber. How are you? Hey! Good. Hey, thank you for showing me Creative Bug. There are so many cool creative things on that site that I want to learn. There are a lot of cool things on that site. If you have any questions about how to use Creative Bug or anything else at the library, please hit us up at the link below. Bye! Bye!